So here's how it works. You hit this red both as full and as hard as you can, and you've got a real chance of making a five ball plant and podding the end red into the corner pocket. It only comes off once in seven, once in eight, but if you do get it right, you've actually got a real chance of clearing the table. All right, red's finally gone in. Cue ball nearly went in the middle pocket. It's made it a little bit awkward, but on those two reds going up there, not in too bad of a position here if I just drop this blue in. Need to get the blue. Don't land on that red. Oh! I was just trying to stay short of that. I'm on the bottom one. Oh, I can't quite see the higher one. I was in perfect position. Right. If I can just drop this in, I've got the shot in the black. Potted it a bit thin. Right, I've never seen anybody attempt this before, so uh, I thought we'd give it a go, which is to um, try and break off and clear the table in one go. Now, I've seen people break off and pot a red. I've seen people clear the table, but I've never seen them do both, so that's the idea here. So I'm just going to spin this round with right hand side because the black doesn't go into the into this pocket here. Now, could have done with going a bit further there. Just going to pop the black off the can and the red above it. Hopefully, we'll have a shot on this red here. It needs to go far enough. Don't think it has. We've got one in the middle still. A little bit further. Yeah, the main reason we're doing this is I've had a bit of a cold this week. So, um, it's, uh, and uh, the other main reason. Oh, and you just potted that. So my microphone's gone a bit wrong. Well, it's not working. So the good thing with this, it doesn't really need a microphone. So it's a good way of getting around it. Talking of getting around things, we're around the red. Are we on the one in the middle? Ah, a little bit shorter there. That would have been ideal. It's just a bit too much angle now to play it. But somehow, out of nowhere, we're in... Got a decent chance, so I'm just going to stun across for yellow and maybe we can play for this red next. Yeah, put it a bit thick. Um, it goes easy enough in the middle pocket if I can just land in the right place. We'll play this with a tracer right inside to slow it down. That's pretty much spot on. Right. Okay, it's just about keeping close control of the cue ball now. So I'm just going to roll down for the... I might actually play for the pink. I really looked at that before choosing, but uh, pink spot's really clear. Now I can play down for the red below the black spot, get that out of the way, and everything goes then. And everything's in a nice position. If it doesn't bounce too much, nearly had me. That nearly had me then. So I'm just going to play a straight screw shot. Got to not hit the black on the way through here, or on the way back. Just come back to where my hand is. Eesh. Got away with it with the massive hole in the black spot. Well, the massive hole that is the black spot. Going to drag the black in and that should give us the perfect can on all this red. Yeah, just got to hit it a bit hard, but it's okay. I can play the red, I've just cannoned. Or I can play that one. Okay, so this is going to have to be... I'm a bit worried about nudging the other red in the way of the black. I think I can just about avoid that if I play it mega slow. Yep. Doesn't seem possible until you get that soft. Right, stunning up for the red above the black spot here. If we can get up... I've got to stop twitching things. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's put me in the middle of nowhere. Should have played that a little bit differently. I'm just gonna stun this red in the middle pocket through the gap. Just gonna play it nice speed. Got it. Didn't feel good that one, but it went in. So, on and off the cushion, back for the red I was playing for before. It's just above the black there. What am I doing at the moment? Right. <laughs>
Got to get rid of that red in the moment because it's the only one now that's actually in the way and stopping us from clearing up. So I'm going to annoyingly have to play down to the blue. Really see how well I'm playing now if I can get in the right place. Yeah, I wasn't risking that, was I? Okay. That's not exactly great. I'm going to pot this knowing that if I play it with about a trace of the left hand side, I'm going to can on that red full. That should leave me on this one and not nudge anything safe. And it could have gone a lot better than that. So, back up for the blue again. Don't want to, I could probably all for the. Uh, didn't think I was going to pot that. Back up for the blue again. Just want a nice slow shot. That's terrible. Right, can pot this, but I won't get in position. I can pot the green and I will get in position. Right. On and off the bolt cushion. A little top spin. Nice angle. Down at the brown. <laughs> I'm making this uh, as difficult as I possibly can, obviously, because we were in perfect position about two minutes ago. So got a choice of two reds, but I'm going to play the inside one. Just try and play a slight stun run through, but if I don't, I've got the pink. Just standing in the wrong place there. Try again, that's a bit better I think, it doesn't feel perfect. That's okay, I forgot about stunning run through, but... So we're on the pink, in the middle. I'm going to try... Mm. Could play for that red over there into that middle pocket, but... That's a bit silly, so we're just going to stun for the black. Or the red by the black, and then the black. But we're getting ahead of ourselves a little bit. There we go. Okay. Other than nudging the brown off the spot, but that's still possible, we're okay. So, I'm just going to try and leave the perfect angle to roll this in. The reason I've got uh, that on the TV is the other reason we... Uh, we're not doing anything else this week because I don't know if you've seen Eurosport Scottish Open video. It's not exactly the best 10 shots. One of them is just somebody potting, potting a ball over from about there. Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's try and... Uh... Right, we're going across the table, off the side cushion and then coming back up for the red. Like right, cross. You could tell I didn't hit that hard enough by telling it to go faster. Right, we're going to need some rest here. It's going to be another one where I haven't played a rest shot yet. I think they're going to be going in. So I can just roll it in behind the black, which is good. I'm not feeling confident enough to do any more than that. Have I hit it? If I'm straight, it's okay. If I've got a slight angle down. Eesh, that's all right. Right, what can I do here that isn't stupid? If I just play a lot of left hand side, oh, I don't like that. I'm thinking of leaving it about there. But I want to be very, very careful that I don't do, uh, don't over hit it. Yeah, it couldn't have gone much better. Luckily I poked at it massively, otherwise I'd over hit it. Didn't, not a good technique there, but it's worked out for me. Right, so just going to nudge this in the middle pocket up for the blue. And uh, be doing good if I don't move on this. Right, so the problem is there, I've evaded it. Now I could play the brown. Or I could play the yellow. Either way, it's going to be a tricky shot. If I screw back, I'll leave. We're going to screw back for the yellow. Just because. Might as well make the next one harder rather than this one. Just far enough to play a screw shot. Now normally you want to get straight on the green, but the good news is here, somewhere to put the reds. I don't because um, we want to go back across the table. So if I can leave it just short straight, so I don't have to even cue it that well. We'll have to get through it straight obviously, but okay, that's not bad. So what I'm thinking is coming across for here, but that's probably a bit silly. You know, it needs a really good positional shot, so I'm going to play for the brown and the yellow pocket. 
if I can. Thought I'd overrid it, but that's perfect. That's so good. I tell you what, that is so good that I've left, um, I'm gonna have a straight blue, aren't I? Can't do anything about that. That's a bit unlucky, really. I'm gonna have to just play it, screw back for a straight blue. Hopefully, I'm nudging these in. Well, I couldn't have made it any easier. So, straight blue. Right. Straight blue, and then we've got pink to come. If we can nudge this in. Yes. Right, I was really worried this wouldn't be possible, but it's definitely possible, whatever happens here. So I'm just gonna drop this in on and off the top cushion. As you playing with the tiny, tiny bit of left hand side, I'm worried they end up too close to the black, but... Mm, worried. <laughs> All right, we've done it. Well, that's gotta be better than some of these Eurosports recreating, a, like somebody just pulling a ball. That was Ronnie there, I think. Is this one of the ones that's a dodgy one? Yeah, this is, he doesn't even get position on this. Anyway, anyway, I'd have to find my own for that. Maybe we'll do that at a later point. But for now, that's, I think, the first ever breaking break and dish, I think you'd call it in pool, wouldn't you? So 128, which isn't bad in the end, especially as there's room for improvement. All that's left to do is find Gary from Glenwood Springs, Colorado, which is there. And if you want to see any more videos like this, have a look at these two. And remember, don't just watch play and make the commitment to becoming a better player by subscribing to the channel and visit the website. See you later.